Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. Today we're checking out Times Americans and Europeans roasted the hell out of each other and ended up online. Who even uses Celsius? Like how extra? Oh, everyone but us. Funny. <laughs> Do people outside of the U.S. celebrate the American Independence Day, 4th of July? Why or why not? Why would they? Who asked this question? <laughs> Do you guys in America celebrate Red October Revolution? <laughs> of course we do. Americans call a knob of butter a stick of butter. Who the F calls it a knob? F-U. Silly Americans call it a stick of butter instead of a thick throbbing <laughs> My French boyfriend watching American news. I don't understand. Things are so bad and they set nothing on fire. How do they expect to fix? <laughs> I guess French protesters set stuff on fire. That's funny. Americans have literally no banter. I don't know what country this is coming from, but we've probably beaten you in a war at some point. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> I'm American. Civil War. <laughs> I'll k America, I'll kick anyone's ass, I'll kick your ass, I'll kick your dog's ass, I'll kick my own ass. That's, yeah, that sounds American. Kick your ass. <laughs> Say what you want, America is the reason you have cars. That's Germany. The English language can be tricky. Me, how old were you? American, oh I was a freshman. Me, it, and European. I still have no idea how old you were. <laughs> Uh, like 1415. That is accurate. Someone from the UK. I'm in sixth form. Me, how many regenerations do you have left? I don't get that. To be honest, it is kind of funny how so many Americans are convinced that every house over like 10 years old has a ghost. <laughs> this house is 100 years old. People have died in here. Like, okay, and? <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, in America, if someone has died in a house, then the real estate agent has to tell you. It's, I think it's a, I don't know if it's a law, but it's a rule. Yeah, but in Europe, when they're like, someone died here, they meant that like four generations have lived peacefully and passed of old age in this home. In America, <laughs> someone died here is like some dude locked his mom in the basement and she starved to death. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, if someone told me someone died in a house, I would think it, there was a murder or killing or something like that. That's interesting. Never considered that. <laughs> Mr. Darcy lived in Derbyshire, so he sounds like Lizzie, I love you most ardently. <laughs> Wait, the places in Pride and Prejudice are real? <laughs> Damn, I always thought England was made up to scare the French. Hmm. This is entirely true. While the locations in England are real, the country of England is fictional and based on the area we call Occupied East Wales. <laughs> I think Americans have spent long enough making fun of British accents. We need to start making fun of our own accents. Americans are be... Americans be eating crayon berries. What? Americans be eating cranberries. Cranberries? Cranberry. Cranberries! <laughs> I need more coffee. Americans be paying $20 for a crate of water bottles. <gasps> $20 for a crate of water bottles. Hmm. That's interesting. So that phonetically is what our accent sounds like to them. That's interesting. That's funny. Yeah, mock my accent. Americans offer two choices. They have no real preference between our like doesn't matter. What? Americans offered two choices. They have no real preference between our like doesn't matter. Americans make a mistake and go, op shouldn't have done that. Up, shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. Doesn't, oh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. 
Okay, now I get it. Like, doesn't matter. Op oh, shouldn't have done that. Okay, I get it. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Funny. Americans leave their friend's house at the end of a conversation like, Ep, go ya later. See ya later. Oh, okay. Yep. See ya later. See ya later. Trying to follow a European recipe. Don't bother. It's bland. Indeed, doesn't have 20 kilos of sugar and it's not deep fried. Yeah, you better put 20 kilos of sugar or 20 ounces of sugar and, and deep fry that shit. You know there's flavoring besides sugar and deep fry, yeah? Like, I don't know, garlic, parsley, thyme, do Europeans have a spice rack? <laughs> no, we've never heard of all these common ubiquitous spices. <laughs> I don't think American filmmakers realize how huge London is, because sure you have the London Eye and Houses of Parliament, but when you say London has fallen, what? So the Nando's in Catford is in flames? The Tesco in Peckham has descended into chaos? WTF. We have states bigger than your entire country. That's true. Why is that a point to brag on though? Celsius? Celsius is the worst way to state temperatures. In no universe does 40 relate to high as for the rest of the world. Eventually the US will stop supporting you. We are going broke. You are effing stupid. Okay. To remember how many feet there are in a mile, you just gotta use five tomatoes. Five tomatoes sound like five, two, eight, zero, and there's 5,000. 280 feet in a mile. Oh, what a great argument for not using the metric system. Let's keep it. To remember how many meters there are in a kilometer, you just remember <laughs> 1,000 because the system of measurement in the rest of the world wasn't invented by a drunk mathematician rolling dice. This is a great point. I take back what I just said. Let's move to the metric system. Is the fall of Rome comparable to the current situation in the United States? No, Rome had good roads. Well, that's a good point. I'm proud to be an American because at least I know I'm free. <laughs> Europeans, guess I'm enslaved then. <laughs> USA, USA, we're number one, except when it comes to medical expenses. <sighs> Burn. One sec, I'm going to go check if the moon has any other flags on it. <laughs> Call me when your moon flag pays your hospital bills. Oh! <laughs> Dang. These are both good burns. I like, yeah, these are good. <laughs> moon flag. <laughs> if I have a medical emergency, don't you dare call an ambulance. Y'all better Uber my ass to the hospital because we not about to pay $5,000 for a ride in the Wii U wagon. <laughs> Wee -wee. That's a great point. I actually think it's $10,000. You know, you can call an ambulance to your house and have the paramedics work on you at your house, like if you're having a heart attack or a seizure or something. But if you get in the ambulance and take a ride to the hospital, it's like 10 grand. What the f***? Not cool. Ambulance driver. Everyone outside of USA. Laughing nervously. What the f***? People who leave their phones set to military time are effing war criminals. How do you look at 1605 and go, wow, I can understand that. Effing bootlickers, what's next? You gonna go join the army? Recruit me? Americans be like, okay, I can't count past 12, actually. <laughs> what comes after 12? Like 20? 18, can I buy a bottle of wine? USA, no, that's illegal and irresponsible. 18, can I go $50,000 into debt for education? USA, we encourage it. Yes, they do. Get that credit score early. My wife asked for a latte in Rome. She was given a glass of warm milk. <laughs> when you try to roast Europe for not being knowledgeable enough about coffee, but Europe has a reverse Uno card, Uno card up its sleeve. There must be more to this. Yes, because Italians call if cafe latte, she got what she asked for, milk. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, because Italians call it cafe latte. This person, they have a great point about the milk and the word being latte for milk, but she cannot spell the word it. It's a failure for the Italian school system or whoever this is. I don't know. It's not like the United States is number one in education or anything. Oh, wait, we are. What? No, we're not. 
Your source literally puts you in <laughs> place seven. It literally says that number one is Switzerland. That's kind of a conundrum because in order to know that, you would need to be educated. Europeans, when they're arguing with an American and they start losing, all reliable. Europeans try to come up with an original joke challenge. Impossible. Hmm? There must be more to this. No healthcare. <laughs> yeah, that's a common burn. Yeah, we know. We get it. I still can't believe Americans don't call car parks car parks. WTF. Is that where you bring your car on weekends so it can play with other cars? <laughs> no, it's where you park your effing car. Almost like an area of land. A lot, if you will, for parking cars. A parking lot. Great point. A car park. <laughs> At least American toilets aren't just holes in the ground. <laughs> yeah? America isn't the only developed country, right? Basically all of Europe has a much better educational, sy educational system and normal plumbing. Okay, yep. But we can pick whatever doctor or healthcare insurer we want. We win. Yeah, they get to pick their doctors in nationalized healthcare countries too. Right. Welcome back. We'll be right back. American television, according to you. <laughs> Tells us so many commercials. That's funny. Obsessed with the way people on Google are spelling off Wiedersehen. What does a Wiedersehen mean in German mean? What? <laughs> oh, I see. I see. So the, okay, okay. So, avid dozen? A Wiedersehen? Al Wiedersehen? Hmm. I mean, those are good guesses for someone who doesn't know the word. Those are great guesses. It's phonetic. GBBO, in its wisdom, decided to have a Mexican-themed week. None of these people, except Noel and Matt, can pronounce pico de gallo. <laughs> None of them know what refried beans look, look like, apparently. After all these years of British people saying Americans don't know anything. Oh, so I get... Okay. So, I guess British people, in general, don't really know Mexican stuff? Maybe? One of them peeled an avocado with a knife instead of just cutting it open. Are they just trying to give Americans something to mock or am I uncharitable? Yeah, that's funny. Every American knows how to deconstruct an avocado. Sometimes when I watch these, people get like really pissed off in the fighting. But I feel like this is a good one. We're just like celebrating our differences and kind of like playful, playful, what's the word? I almost said rimming. It's not rimming. Playful joshing. Playful, uh, what, there's an R word for it. Playful rubbing. Playful razzing. R I don't know what the word is, but it's playful. Good attitudes. I like this. These are good. Well, thank you all for watching this with me, and I'll see you next time. Later.